What is up everyone, Stefan here from TechRite. Today I'll be showing you how to speed up your ZTE Blade Z Max. Let's get this video started. <laughs> Okay everyone, so this is going to be a fairly simple process. Now the first step you're going to have to go ahead into is actually going to the settings. And uh, once we get into the settings, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to where it says about foam. Now it says we have Android 7.1.1 as our recent Android right now. Uh, not sure if we're going to be getting an update soon. I will keep you updated on that, no pun intended. Uh, but yeah, we're going to want to go ahead and scroll down to what it says build number right here. Uh, but we're going to want to click on it until it says you're developer now usually it says you're a developer after you've clicked it about six or seven times but just keep clicking it until it says congratulations uh, you are now a developer now once you're a developer you can actually go back and you know go into the settings right here and once you're a developer you can have developer options now this just opens up a new world of opportunities for you to use uh, it just makes an Android phone even more customizable now I did say the ZT Blade Z Max you know it's gonna make the ZT Blade Z Max faster uh, but this is pretty much feasible on any device that has Android. Uh, I think 4.0 and above, you know, we have the ZTZ Max Pro, we have the cool pad phones, the Defiant, we have the, you know, it's really any Android phone with that uh, version or software or above, uh, you're going to be good on here. But I just want to show it for you Blade C Max users. But you're going to want to go into developer options. Now you're going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, we're going to go all the way down to where it says uh, where it says animations. Okay, so we're going to have all these animations right here. So it says window animation scale. It says transition animation scale. It says animator duration scale. Now these are animations uh, that run on your phone. And the animations, you know, for example, clicking out of an app, going like that and going to the home screen or whatever, or, you know, clicking on an application while it loads and does this little animation. Uh, these are the little transition and animations that, you know, that are in the phone that, that are the animations of the device. Uh, so to make these faster, you can actually, you know, take it down a notch. Uh, usually, I'm pretty sure these are at about one, but I would either take the animations off or put them at animation scale dot 5x now the reason why I'm saying that is because if you put all these on one here I have these set on on 0.5 uh, but I have these on one now. Now let's go ahead and go to the home screen. See how slow that is. It's just super sluggish. I really do not like that super slow animations and if you go down just half of the speed if we go down to 0.5 you know, it just feels much snappier, much, much nicer, and it really, you know, shows you uh, what the phone can actually do, you know. You saw the last one right there, right? You saw the last animation, how slow it was. Now we turn them all to 0.5. Boom. Faster now. Faster going in and out of apps. Faster switching to different apps, you know. Like if we open up YouTube right now on 0.5. That was much faster than going back to the animation skills, scaling them down to 1x. You know, closing YouTube again and opening it up. It's just a like, much faster process if you scale them down to 5x. I think 0.5x is literally the sweet spot. And if you guys want no animations at all, then you can just put animation off for all of them. Uh, you know, I know some people like that and boom, no animation. You're there, you know, boom, you're there. It's really your preference what you want because some people, you know, don't like animation. Some people do. Uh, but I just wanted to show you know that you can uh, scale down your animations or completely turn them off. Uh, I, com I, I keep it on 0.5x because I think animations are still nice and they're still part of the foam. But if you guys want to go ahead and, you know, try this out yourself, I think it would be very, very nice. Or, you know, you could set, you could put it on your own settings. You know, I think it would be a very nice touch to your device, you know, to, to even personalize your device more than it already is, you know, because it's an Android already. 
But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and I helped you out like at all, please drop it in the comments down below as well as like the video, uh, but dislike it if you did not enjoy it. I do not really care. Um, but yeah, still love you guys. Thank you for all the support I've been getting recently. You guys are absolutely amazing. I hope you're having an amazing day. This has been Tech Right. Peace out, guys.